it's on the one hand understandable that governments are under pressure to consolidate public budgets, but uh, to cut uh, educational spending would presumably be the worst governments uh, could do. It would uh, first of all uh, contribute to an increase in unemployment, it would affect uh, adversely educational institutions, and secondly it would undermine future development prospects of our societies. It would undermine uh, the opportunities to acquire new skills, uh, and last but not least it would undermine although the future tax base uh, of um, governments. So the message we are trying to give to policymakers is uh, don't slash spending uh, on education. Actually maintain spending or try to increase spending because looking back over the past uh, decade we have uh, to uh, realize that uh, spending on education in most countries has not kept uh, pace with uh, the increase in GDP or GDP per capita. So that means our societies are spending relatively less on education than they used uh, to do and we believe uh, there is a need to, to change that. Education uh, as a right uh, uh, requires uh, strong public uh, investment and it's our objective uh, to maintain that.